Hey everyone, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to be talking about a very simple subject, which is how to clean your turntable needle. Cleaning your turntable needle is something that is actually very simple, but it's something that some people neglect to do. And that could be bad, because that could have a detrimental effect on the sound quality of your records, and actually by spinning your vinyl and the record needle going into those grooves all the time, it's actually building up a lot of gunk and a lot of dust and dirt and grime and all that stuff that you don't want on your needle. Your needle is actually the most sensitive part of your turntable, so you want to take care of it, you want to be able to manage it, and uh, you want it to be able to perform and function well. So let's talk about the two ways that people clean their uh, turntable stylus. These are the two ways that I'm most familiar with because these are the ones that I've used. Um, I'm sure there's, there might be a couple of others, but these are the ones that are most common to me. Um, so you've got two options here. The first of which is if you buy, if you upgrade your, your turntable needle, I've actually got the Audio-Technica uh, LP120 behind me, and I upgraded the needle with the Ortofon 2M Red. Now, when you buy the Ortofon 2M Red or any other similar needle, you might get a little um, Ziploc bag like this, which has a, a little small screwdriver and some screws and some other parts right there um, in order to set up the turntable needle properly. But also included in that is usually a, a needle brush. And they look like this, they're pretty small. And what you would do to use it properly is the needle's like right here and you brush from forward to back like that. Pretty simple, forward to back. And you do that once, maybe twice, and the needle's clean. It's very simple, takes hardly no time, and it can be done in between albums. Um, what you don't wanna do is if the needle's like this, you do not wanna brush sideways. That's very bad. You wanna brush in the same direction as the record would be normally spinning. So it's actually very simple. I've been doing this a lot lately, and it saved me a lot of time because the older method out that I was doing, which some of you are probably doing right now, um, is uh, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Now, if you have one of these uh, under your kitchen sink or lying around the house, you can actually cut off a piece of it and you can um, put this on the turntable platter and then you have the, the needle hovering above it and then you just slowly press the needle onto it. And when you lift the needle up again, usually, this magic eraser has removed, it's, it's kind of held on to the pieces of dust and dirt and debris that were on the needle, and it holds them back. So when you lift the needle up, the needle comes up clean. You might need to do it a couple times, but it works out pretty well. Uh, I found that, I, originally I was just doing this until I upgraded my needle. Um, I, I think this is a, it's a good method if you're on a budget, but if you've already, if you've upgraded your needle and uh, you have a small um, needle brush like this, then you should definitely use it and um, it'll save you a lot of time. And it's actually very efficient. You just have to be careful not to go sideways on it. That's very bad, don't ever do that. Just just kind of, just brush it in the normal direction uh, as the record would play and uh, that will clean your needle. So that's it for this video. I mean, it's a very short uh, subject and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and subscribe and uh, you know, let me know, how do you clean your needle? Do you, do you clean it in a different way that I'm not familiar with? Uh, let me know in the comment section and as always, keep spinning that vinyl. Take care.